We're doing operations of functions in this lesson. So we're going to add, subtract, multiply, and divide functions using function notation. If you've already added, subtracted, multiplied polynomials, then you already know what this is. Really, the only thing new might be the function notation, which is sometimes you guys are like letters and math, ah, whatever. It's not that serious. So let's get to it. Math with the speed. Math with Miss B, there's a thousand other places that you'd rather be. But you're watching Math with Miss B. So when we're talking about function notation, we're talking about f of x. So you should have already learned, hello, f of x equals y. Right, but the problem is if I'm talking about more than one function, I cannot be like y equals this, y equals that, y equals, I need different function names for those functions. So function notation helps us name the functions so that I can distinguish which one I'm talking about. So if your name is Sarah or your name is Keisha or your name is Darnell, like I can distinguish between my students because they each have a name. So we use the letters like a name to indicate which function we're talking about. And so I can use f of x, I can use g of x, I can use p of x, and those are just different names to identify which function that we're talking about. We have different function operations, and so this is the specific notation that goes with the function. So let's do addition first. When I'm talking about addition, there's two ways that you can write addition. You can write addition as f plus g, parentheses x, or you can write it as f of x plus g of x. And that's how you talk about function notation, f of x g of x right so then i have subtraction I, subtraction is f minus g parentheses x or it's f of x minus g of x this is pretty easy right i know you guys don't like the letters you're like ooh, letters but we're just learning to read math you know people say that math is a language so this is the language of math that we're learning so we're going to we could do multiplication right and so multiplication um, is going to be f g x equals f of x times g of x. Both of those, you, they could use either one to present the problem to you. They could use f g or they could use f of x times g of x. Doesn't matter. Both of them mean the same thing. Okay? And then we have division. Division is f slash g or it's going to be f of x on top of g of x, right? Because we all know fraction bars represent division absolutely good job <laughs> okay so we're gonna do addition so we're gonna do addition first and I know it's addition by it says f plus G parentheses X that plus in the middle tells me I'm gonna add F plus G together right so that means basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do orange plus blue now, when we're adding two polynomials together, if you've done that already, you know that all you're doing is combining like terms right now. So I'm going to look at the 4x squared and I'm going to say to myself, does the 4x squared have a like term? No, it doesn't. So I'll move on to the 3x. 3x have a like term? Yes, it does. That 6x goes with that 3x. So together they're going to make 9x and then the negative 1 goes with the 2 and so negative 1 plus 2 is going to give me positive 1. So that's going to be my answer. We're going to bring that 4x squared to the front and then the, all the rest we combine the like terms and that's our answer. It's not that bad. I promise. Okay. It is not that bad. So now let's do some subtraction. So when I do subtraction, it's the same thing, right? But look at the notation. The notation says f minus g. That's how I know it's telling me to subtract. So I need to make sure that I'm paying attention to that. So I'm gonna, it says f minus g, so that means orange minus blue, right? But there's a specific trick here when we are subtracting. When we're subtracting, we need to make sure that we do one thing before we combine our like terms. What do we need to do before we combine our like terms? If you said distribute the negative, you're correct. So instead of that being positive 6x, it's going to turn into negative 6x. Instead of that being positive 2, it's going to turn into being negative 2. So then I can go ahead and combine the like terms. And once I do that, that would be my answer. Ooh, 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 ooh. Make sure you're processing, right? Like the x squared doesn't have a like term. And then what happens with the x's? What happens with the constants? All that kind of stuff. 
Okay, so now we're gonna go back to addition. I want you to pause the video and I want you to see if you could do it on your own. I hope you paused the video. So I have 5x plus 6 and then x squared minus 5x plus 6. I'm combining my like terms, right? So with 5x goes a negative 5x. And what's going to cancel? 5 minus 5 cancels out. Get out of here, you know? And then I have negative 6 plus positive 6. What's going to happen? Again, cancels out. So what's left? Just x squared. If you got x squared, you did it correct. Good job. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do subtraction. Oh, I feel like I need to sneeze. <coughs> Ooh. Okay, so again, pause the video. If you want to, see if you can do it on your own while I uh, drink my matcha. Okay, I hope you paused it. What's the thing that you have to remember before you can Combine your like terms for subtraction. What do you have to do? You have to distribute the negative. So when I distribute the negative, I'm gonna get 5x minus six because that stayed the same, right? But instead of positive x squared, I get negative x squared. Instead of negative 5x, I get positive 5x. And instead of positive six, I get negative six. So now I can combine them like terms, okay? So negative x squared first and then 5x plus 5x is 10x and then negative 6 plus negative 6 that's going to give me negative 12 and that's my final answer okay now we're moving on to multiplication when we're doing multiplication we're doing a lot of distributing okay so with a lot of distributing, I'm gonna distribute orange into blue and we're gonna get a lot of terms. But after I get all those terms, I'm gonna make sure that I combine them, the like terms that is. So first we're gonna do 6x squared times 2x and that's gonna give us 12x cubed. And we're gonna do 6x squared times negative three, that's gonna give us negative 18x squared. Then I move on to the negative x in orange. I multiply negative x times 2x, and I'm gonna get negative 2x squared. I'm gonna multiply the negative x times negative three, that's gonna give me um, positive 3x, because negative times negative is a positive. And now I'm moving on to the negative 12, the orange negative 12. I multiply it by the blue 2x, I'm gonna get negative 24x, and then negative 12, times negative three, it's gonna give me 36, positive. So then I combine my like terms. So the x squareds and the x squareds go together. The, the x is the, the negative 18 x squared minus two x squared gives me negative 20 x squared. Those come together. And then three x minus 24 x gives me negative 21 x. Those come together. Everything else comes down. My final answer is, ta-da. You guys like my singing skills? I know they're good. <laughs> Anywho, we're gonna divide. Okay, so I know it's division because it says F slash G, right? So I, that means this division is a little bit different. So this is the one thing in this lesson that you might not like really know how to do yet, but that's okay. We're gonna do it together. So F slash G basically means put F on top of G. So orange on top of blue. So 6X squared minus X minus 12 over 2x minus 3. Now I'm gonna factor. When I'm looking at this, I'm gonna notice that the only thing that I can factor is the numerator. That's why it says that off to the side. Factor the numerator because 2x minus 3 is prime. I can't really factor that. So I could do 6x squared minus x minus 12. I'm gonna factor that. If you don't remember how to factor, go watch some factoring videos because that's not what we're here to teach in this specific lesson. Okay, so when I factor 6x squared minus x minus 12, I get 2x minus 3 and then 3x plus 4. And then I'm going to make sure that I still bring down the blue part because I didn't do anything there, but I still need it because we can't just get rid of it, you know, it has, has to be there still. So then I'm going to do 2x minus 3 and 2x minus 3, one on top, one on the bottom. What can I do? Swipe, swipe. We love to see it. So my final answer, what I'm going to be left with is 3x plus 4. You see it? You see me? You see me? Okay. Can you see? Now you can see. <laughs> okay.
Okay, so now I'm gonna make you do a division example on your own. Um, and then we'll do a uh, last multiplication example and then we'll be done. Uh, okay, so we're gonna do um, F slash G, so that means orange on top of blue. You should pause the video though because we already did division and I wanna see if you could do it by yourself. So pause the video. Okay, hopefully you paused the video. I don't know if you did. I don't think you did, but whatever. <laughs> um, so we're gonna do orange on top of blue, and we're gonna look to see what we can factor. The orange part can't be factored, it's prime, so I'm gonna leave it alone. And then we're gonna look at the x squared minus four x part, and we're like, okay, what can I do there? So x squared is a perfect square, four is a perfect square, and in the middle is a minus sign, and another word for minus is difference. So this is actually the difference of two squares, which is really easy to factor. x plus 2 times x minus 2. Yes. Ooh, 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 ooh. Sorry. Um, so what can we do now? Just like we did in that last division problem, what can I do? Swipe, swipe. We love it. But now this time, uh, the last time what was left was on the top of the fraction in the numerator this time it's on the bottom so the x minus 2 is on the bottom of the problem so I'm gonna say 1 over x minus 2 you see what I did there you see me you see me okay last but not least we're gonna do some multiplication same two functions I know it's multiplication because it says FG or f of x times g of x, right? So we're gonna do orange times blue. Stop the video. It's just some double distribution, foiling maybe your teacher called it. Um, and you can do this and then combine like terms if there aren't any like terms to combine. You should be pausing the video. That's why I'm drinking my matcha. Okay, hopefully you paused the video. So if I do x times x squared, I get x cubed. If I do x times negative four, I get negative four x. If I do two times x squared, I get two x squared. And then two times negative four, I get negative eight. And voila, that is my final answer, but in standard form, because you want x cubed, then x squared, then the x, then the constant at the end. Yay, you, guess what? You finished the lesson. As I always say, go back, watch the examples. See if you can do them without watching me first. And then, if not, I will see you in the next one.